I'm having the worst day of my life today, but these people have it that much worse than me. These are people with the rarest diseases in the world. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. This girl named Versavia was born with her heart outside her chest. A one in a billion rare birth defect called Ectopia Cordis, which honestly sounds like a crazy spell out of a Harry Potter movie. Well, it's not because it's a thousand percent real. Wait a minute. What if she slips and falls? Like, just imagine what happens. She needs to wear a bulletproof vest 24 seven. Like, but even that won't help. And the saddest part is only one birth survives past the third day of being alive. Oh, I can never look at chest bumps the same way ever again. Oh. So if you thought that was strange, it, it gets, gets even crazier. People literally grow horns out of their head. Who remembers Hellboy? This is no joke. The medical term is called cutaneous horn, which is a legitimate skin condition where cone-shaped bone-like skin appears. Like these people are literally horny. No, like real horns coming out. What is wrong with you? Luckily, this rare condition is an extremely life-threatening, yet only 12 in 1 million people actually develop this phenomenon. Now just imagine going to your barber and he's like, so what are we doing with the horns today? Like no shame November just turned into grow horn December. Ah! Like it's not funny, these people are struggling. Who wrote those jokes? Now speaking of things growing on the body, oh my God. Oh, I can't believe this is even real. Some people might think it's fake, but trust me, it's a condition called neurofibromatosis. I don't, I don't even know how I said that. It's when massive amounts of tumors grow on the body uncontrollably and just keep growing and keep growing. But this right here is what very severe forms of it looks like. Oh, this breaks my heart. And it slowly develops over time. There's nothing you can really do about it. Look at this progress. It almost just engulfs your face. Wow, I am never gonna complain about a tiny pimple on my face ever again. Like these people literally get bullied for something they can't even control. It completely puts life into a totally different perspective. Imagine people being born with this and yet you're still complaining about your life. Like, bravo, bravo. Whoa! Now, I don't know about you, but I can barely go throughout the day if I just slept on the wrong side of bed. Yet people with arthrogryposis multiplex have their head permanently upside down forever. And you might be thinking, well, does he see everything upside down? No, it's a weird, strange phenomenon where your brain actually flips what it sees because your head is upside down for so long. This is insane. I can't even imagine what it's like to get through one single day. Does he feel pain? Like... <laughs> Like, it makes me sad. I have so much respect for dealing with things like this. You are mentally stronger than I could ever imagine. Now for this next condition, conjoined twins. Imagine having to share your body with your sibling 24-7. And I mean 24-7. No alone time, nada. They're quite literally attached at the hip or head or chest. You get the idea, okay? Now listen, I love my siblings. I do, but I'd rather become a vegan for a year than share my body with them. And that says a lot. No disrespect to any vegans out there, by the way. I respect you. Let's talk. I love meat though. I love meat. Also, think of the bright side. They only have to use the bathroom once. Now, that's a two-for-one special. Though, I don't know who ends up wiping, but I'm sure they figure it out. Now, you see this woman. She has not one, but two lady parts. Wait, does that mean she can have two boyfriends? And it's not considered cheating? Or maybe it gets even crazier. Does she need to take double the birth control? Well, the proper medical term for this is called uterus didelphus. But that's just fancy terminology for saying double coochie meow meow. And I'm not gonna lie, whoever she's dating better be extra skilled, if you know what I mean. Wait, 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 wait. The towel is, I have one for him and one for work. Next up is persistent general arousal disorder. I don't really know what this means, to be honest. Like, no idea. Oh, it looks like she's having an anxiety attack or something. We saw her uncontrollably orgasm up to 50 times a day. Wait, what? So you're telling me that was... Whoa! Wait, wait, wait. I know a lot of people in class that shake their foot like that. Does that mean they're also... Oh my god. PGAD stands for persistent genital arousal disorder, meaning the genital area is constantly in a state of arousal. And it's I something like I shouldn't be that this. I've been living with since I was about six years old. Six years old? I didn't even know what it was till I was like 19. No, 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 that's not okay to say. I'm sorry. I genuinely feel bad for her. Like, it must be so exhausting, even though some nasty boys out there can probably beat this number of times a day. 50 times. Is it you? Are you one of them? For her, it's a curse. For you, it's probably fun. And this condition happens to women way more than men, which is really surprising given the circumstances. Huh. Next. Oh my god. I don't like it. This is so sad. It's called the tree man illness. Epiderma dysplasia. Verus deformis, aka turning into a real tree. Like, 
This is science fiction. But let me warn you, you might think it's fun turning into a version of Groot. But I promise you, it's the last thing you wish you had. These people are suffering. This extremely rare condition causes people to grow abnormal scaly scabs, resembling real tree bark. And it can happen all over their body. So if you ever get diagnosed with this, you should really go back to your roots and figure out what part of your family tree line caused it. It's not funny. I'm serious. It's not. It's actually not. Sucks. I probably shouldn't have worded it like that though. Well, next up, you remember Teen Wolf, right? Well, I've got some news for you. Werewolves do exist. Well, at least their condition does. Hypertrichosis, also known as werewolf syndrome, makes every day feel like a full moon type of day. People have this incredibly rare condition that grow hair all over the body, just like werewolves. But don't worry, they don't howl the same and they don't kill humans, I hope. And no, we're not talking about just a tiny bit of peach fuzz. This is full on hairy werewolf status. Sorry. But I like the movies, these real life werewolves don't have the ability to turn back into human. Well, on the plus side, they never have to worry about finding Halloween costumes, right? I guess that's a plus. Yet the worst thing about this condition, besides the constant itchiness, must be that sharing a bar of soap with someone is probably impossible. Not that you should do that anyways, that's sus, sorry. So to all the Twilight lovers, eat your heart out because we've got real werewolves in this world. But yeah, if you ever think you're hairy, think again. Now listen up people, Avatar was a great movie but it's not a lifestyle okay there are only 11 known cases of people with blue skin and before you ask no they're not part of an alien colony trying to save the planet as far as we know whoa this is him before what happened the rare and untreatable condition of argyria is caused by the buildup of silver particles in the skin who eats silver i can barely afford food with these prices bro you're eating silver and it eventually turns the skin into a deep blue tint these smurf like people out there can't hide their condition unless some girls find it kind of cool I don't know. What do you think? Do you want blue babies? But hey, at least our love life isn't that completely dead in the water. After all, who wouldn't want to see what it's like to be with a blue beauty? Imagine the story for your grandkids. Like, yeah, back in my day, I drank a lot of silver. And now here you are, part of the Avatar colony. Or should I say Smurf colony? Not gonna lie, my face started getting that tint when I was eating way too much blue colored candy. I just couldn't help it. It was so good. <laughs> this next condition is terrifying. Alkaptonuria, the black urine disease. People with this condition have urine that quickly turns black when exposed to air. I mean, sure, black urine might make a statement when you're peeing out in public, which you shouldn't do. But if you do, at least show everybody. No, I'm just kidding. Because it's probably not a statement you're gonna want to make. They're gonna be like, what is wrong with your kidneys? The sad thing is it produces an acid that can build up in your heart valves, which makes them hard and narrow. On the bright side, it's an extremely rare genetic disorder. So not a lot of people have this, but it's still heartbreaking. Literally, no way. This girl just turned 18 and is only two feet tall. Her name is Yoti and she was born with primordial dwarfism. This only affects about one in three million people. But if you really think about it and look at the bright side, it's not that bad. At least she doesn't have to pay for plane tickets because she can fit in the luggage, right? The thing that sucks the most is that she tries to get into a bar and the bartender refuses to serve her a drink because he's just going to think she's not old enough or not even being able to get on any rides at the amusement park. But wait, her voice is so adorable, too. I cannot believe she's 18. That's insane. <sighs> She has to shop at the kids aisle, but when I say kids, I mean close to the baby aisle. I mean, there is a lot of downsides to being this small, but hopefully she's healthy and she has no health complications. But overall, I feel like she can live a somewhat normal life for the most part. There might be issue with finding a lover because if this guy is just normal height, he might just be a little bit of a creep. And I hope not. I hope he loves her for her personality, but I feel like most guys that are into girls that are this tiny might be into kids. Ugh. And we have Cyclopia as the most disturbing. Whoa, that's real. These are babies that are born with a single eye in the middle of their forehead. You might be thinking Cyclops, this is awful, awful condition. I don't even want to keep looking at it. Like This actually makes me so sad. This causes so much health implications. And with that being said, I think we're done. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please go check out more of my content. You can click either one of these. And I love you if you stuck to the end. So I'll see you soon. Until next time, peace out. Oh, and then he's... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, Sorry. I think you should go like... I feel bad. I want it. Is that good? That was good. That was <laughs> right. No, you're good. You're good. Thanks, Simon.